Hello, everybody in drawing two. My name is Natalie Jadio, and I'm doing a presentation on Chloe P or PNA, PN. I never really found out. Her work is highly interesting. Here on the first slide, we see some collages she's done. She seems to be really interested here, especially I think this is one of the more recent ones she's done. And it's a medium I haven't seen her work in before. After browsing through her website, usually her works look like this. She works in this style that blurs life, death, sex, dissolution. She likes to have hybrid creatures and skeleton creatures. Her drawings are complex with their gestural contour lines. And she also creates sculptures out of clay and plasticine that she puts on wax pedestals. I found this really beautiful quote that describes her work. And I felt I really needed to include it in this presentation. It's from Issue Magazine, Simon Watson, and he describes her work, her videos and her drawings, and how they assert wry and morbid sexual prowess. The female nudes she sketches are sensual, yet slightly chilling. The female bodies she depicts lie prostrate in a moment of death, masturbating, levitating, or coyly reclining in repose. These portraits, which she refers to as petite mort, lyrically express orgasmic unconsciousness and carnal decay. Wielding vaporous black charcoal lines on translucent vellum paper, Piane conveys with her mark-making a transitory pleasure that is gothic in feeling. The forms and figures suggest an intense experience of physical elevation that inescapably passes into the permanence of death. In some of the more decadent examples, emancipated fingers stretch out to pleasure the unadorned, half skeletal body, which the head is turned to reveal a face that is simply a skull. The only inklings of life in such details are in the toes, a nipple, a strand of wavy hair, highlighting the softness and life that was once there. But this sinewy body is now fading and literally disappearing into the extremely foreshortened perspective. She is an American artist. She is internationally known, particularly in the US and Europe. She's represented by Clemens Gazer and Tanja Grunet in New York. She was born in Connecticut in 1972, and now she works in New York and Berlin. Her work, this is one of her earlier week works on this slide, but it really seems to get more gestural the longer it goes. She started out with this style, and then it you know, like this one right here, it becomes less. I mean, it looks like lines, but when you look closer, you can see a figure holding what we can presume is a woman, but something's tight around her neck. It's sensual, but also kind of ominous. Cloak, I think, is a really fitting title for this one. I just, her art is very fantastical. And it's really interesting how something as simple as these lines and I definitely would not say it's childlike, but because of how creepy and ominous it is, but this is her newest one on this slide, Leopold. It kind of trips me out because you can see the hands reaching, but it's like, is it reaching for horse? Because that's what it looks like to me but it's so chaotic. Just her interest in life and death and sexuality. This is a video she did, self-portrait of herself and her, you know, vagina. Notice how one is blurred and one isn't. I tried to put the one in the middle of just her legs, like they're revealing. I would love to see the actual video. This is another self-portrait video, one of her first pieces, or at least listed on her website it is. Um, this one just makes me think of religious um, 
like Renaissance paintings, like she's glowing <laughs> like Jesus would or the deity. This I would really love to see. I think those are the collages on the back panel, but there must have been music playing. It says Dimension Audio. This is actually a video where I couldn't find it, but I was able to read about it. And it says it's very slowed down video of a girl crawling out of a grave, screaming and wailing and clawing. And then she turns around and she goes back in the grave or at least turns to turn back in the grave. Even her sculptures here have that sense. I mean, the woman's eyes are closed and her lips seem to be just a little parted. But what are these other two pieces? Is that just where the head goes? This, I feel like, really seems her style. I could see these just <laughs> set up right next to all of her drawings. I find that one on the left really interesting, the frontward skull and the upside down skull connected. I notice they don't seem to have bottom jaws either. And here we see repeated skulls. But the one on the left is balancing and the one on the right is either holding something. It's a little phallic, definitely. Even though it's called female. <laughs> so I guess I'm left with the question of what is she trying to say with her work? Hopefully, uh, <laughs> you can comment and talk to me about it and help me understand because <laughs> I'm just left with more questions. Thanks a lot. Bye.